hands that you can pretend that you do, just to help with the muscle activation. And we are going to come to the wall so that you can stand about an arm's length away. So you don't want to be reaching the wall really far away. You don't want to be too close because we're going to move this inside leg and we need a bit of space to be able to move the leg out. And we're going to keep the hip bones level. So if it helps, bring your outside hand onto your hip. Think about tall through from the feet, strong through those arches, up through the body. So your shoulder hip are going to stay stacked. Push the outside edge of that foot in towards the wall. Push it out in towards the wall. Now, as long as your hip bones are staying level, we're going to be firing up these muscles in your butt and in the outside of the thighs. We're also working the abdomen if we're not tilting forward or pushing back. So if we're keeping this upper body upright, abs of steel are working. Notice this outside leg, are we standing up tall out the hips so we're not hanging out in that hip joint? Now after your next one, we're going to move the leg forward and then push it into the wall. Now as you've moved the, hip, the leg forward, check you haven't leaned back or tilted forward, your shoulder hip still stacked. Getting the thigh involved a little bit more here. Also check this balancing leg that you're not rotating around, this leg stays still. It's anchored down, it's giving you support. If it's anchored, then it's working too. One more. And then we are going to move that leg behind. Now as we move the leg behind, your shoulder, hip are staying stacked. Your leg's only going to go back as far as this hip flexor allows. So if you're really tight here, you might only be back half an inch. So just work with what you've got. And then again, push out. Check that the hips are staying in line with each other, that we're not rotating the hips back. We're staying tall through this outside leg. And if your upper body starts to float forward, because that will make it slightly easier, then we bring ourselves back upright. Two more. Hopefully your bottom is working. Bring that in, give that a wiggle out, release that off. Now we're going to go to the other side, so you can either turn yourself around where you are, or you can move to the other side of the room. Set yourself up, standing tall, engage. We start keeping our hip in line with the outside leg. Pushing out, keep the hips level. Now this side, you might think, oh, I feel tired already doing this. Because you've been balancing on this leg, this leg has been doing work. So don't be surprised if you think, my goodness, what's going on here? It has already done some work. And again, think about that postural alignment. Don't let it go just because this side might be experiencing things a little bit differently. After your next one, you're moving the leg forward and out to the side. So again, check that you don't start to pivot on this balancing leg. We're anchoring it in. Don't let those hips wiggle about. Two more. And then we're going out behind. So again, think about as you go out behind, check the upper body doesn't go forward. Your hip flexors can be different holding tension in different ways on each side. So if this side is tighter, your leg might not go back as far, or it might not be as tight, so it goes back a bit further. Work with what this side is allowing you to work with. Two more. Bring that in. So I go release that out. Now you can choose to keep this band around your legs if you have one on, or if that feels too much, if your legs are feeling a bit tired, you can ditch the band. The band does help stabilize the pelvis and activate 
if thy muscles 